Now we're going to talk about intensive adjectives in Turkish. In addition to having words for things like more, a lot, most, and so on, Turkish has a way in which some, but not all, simple adjectives can have their meanings intensified by adding an additional syllable at the beginning of the word. Many of the adjectives that can be intensified in this way are color words, not all of them. Let's look at an example. The Turkish word kara, an adjective meaning black. Kara simply means black. But if we want to emphasize that this is pitch black, super black, we are going to change kara to cup. Kara. Cup kara, pitch black. What have we done? We've taken the first syllable of the word kara, and we've repeated it. So we had kar, kara, but then we change the final consonant of the first syllable to one of these four consonants. Pe, as it is here, pe, se, me, or it can be re, but we, it is not in the case of kara. So kap kara, extremely black, pitch black. Let's look at another example. Pembe is a Turkish adjective meaning pink. If we want to say extremely pink, rose pink, super pink, we can repeat the first syllable of pembe and add one of these four consonants. Now, it's not going to change which one of these consonants we add for a given word, but you'll have to memorize which one is appropriate for each adjective that's being intensified. So, pembe happens to be, we're using a se, so pembe pes pembe. Extremely pink, rose pink, super pink. Another example, bosh is a Turkish adjective that can mean empty. If we want to say completely empty, intensify the meaning of this adjective, bosh, empty, we can repeat the first syllable, bo, add one of these four consonants, we're going to use me, so extremely empty, bombosh. Bosh, empty, bombosh, totally empty. Another example, temiz is the Turkish adjective meaning clean. If we want to say squeaky clean, extremely clean, we can say te, repeating this first syllable, adding one of our consonants, in this case a re, ter temiz, squeaky clean, super clean.